Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today I have another curly hair tips like a curly transition tips video, all of the things that I wish somebody told me when I was transitioning and also a bit of curly motivation and advice. So if that interests you, then keep watching. Alright, so let's talk about the first tip. I've mentioned this in a previous video, but I definitely want to reiterate. So when you're trying a new styling technique, it is very important to give the styling technique a bit of time. If things didn't go right the first time, then assume that you did it wrong. Don't judge the technique itself. I would say please try it out a few more times before deciding and seeing if it is for you. Because trust me, there is a learning curve to every single technique that you try. The amount of water that was in your hair when you did the technique, the amount of product that you used when doing the technique, whether your hair was clarified or not, whether your hair was clean enough or not. And so there are so many other factors that come into play when you're doing a styling technique. And guys, the first time you tried, if things didn't go right, so let's say your results were not the best, then don't write off the technique and say that, hey, this is not good or this will not work for me. Try it a few more times, make minor tweaks, see how you can adjust and manipulate the technique to fit your needs. And I'm sure in a few weeks time, if you try a technique for like five, six, seven times, you will get better at it. Basically what I'm trying to say is don't assume that you're gonna get it right the first time. I would say give every single technique a few times before you decide whether it's for you or not. I have mentioned this tip in one of my older videos. In fact, guys, I have an entire playlist on curly hair advice, which I highly recommend you watch because I know for sure that you're going to gain value from it. I'm going to leave it down in the description and also up in the cards right here. The second mistake that you're possibly making is that you're watching your favorite creator, you're looking at some of the techniques that they use and you're upset because it's not working for you. Now, I want to say this very categorically and very, very clearly. Just because I like something doesn't mean you will like the same technique, doesn't mean we will get similar results. Our hair is so unique and what works for me might not work for you. And I really want to stress this. I've already mentioned this, but I have a lot of new faces now on the channel. And so I thought this is an important point to mention. Now, sometimes you might feel like you've done everything right, but your hair does not look the same. At these times, it's very important for you to identify, do I have protein overload? Do I have moisture overload? What is going on? Am I rotating my products or not? So I stress this in my protein moisture balance video. I'll leave it linked down below. But yeah, I want to re-articulate this point as well. It is very important for you to keep rotating your products because let's say you use a protein once, right? That protein that you use can linger on your hair way past the wash day. So let's say I use protein on a particular wash day. The next wash day, I might have washed my hair, I might have styled my hair, but it is possible for the protein to linger on my hair despite several many wash days. And so, when you're using products, it is so important for you to have separate lineups and for you to rotate these products and not use the same thing over and over again. Because very logically, let's think about it. I have high porosity hair which automatically means that my hair needs a lot of protein, right? That is what we're always told, that is what we always hear, that is what we have been hearing all this while. However, if a protein can linger on my hair for a longer period of time and I can go through many different wash days, but there's a possibility that that protein is still on my hair from last to last wash day. Then, if I go ahead and pile on more protein and use protein every single wash day of mine, then it's very possible for my hair to go into overload, right? And therefore, think about it logically, you'll understand that it's very important to rotate your products. 
and i know that's difficult because things are expensive but guys very honestly i have no answer to this curly brands if you're watching we need more affordable products or we need more sales look we understand that the brands are just starting up mostly the brands are started by curly girls a lot of the times you'll see curly girls will start their own brands because they know that there's nothing in india for them and so they've started their brands and if a brand is a small indie brand and only has a product profile of let's say two products or three products obviously their price points are going to be a little higher but brands when you're growing when your numbers are increasing when your customer base is increasing then sometimes or rather once in a while maybe like once a year or twice a year what you could do is give us like a half off sale where well, let's say for like 2 hours or 3 hours we can get our favorite products for like half off this would benefit the curly community so much we would be so happy there are so many curly girls look i review things and therefore i have to buy it but please don't think i don't feel the pinch a lot of the times people are like hey have you tried xyz gel or have you tried xyz shampoo and it becomes really really expensive and i know that buying product technically right now youtube it's like a job i should take it seriously and this is like an investment because i need to buy the products to make videos but i feel the pinch if i feel the pinch and this is my job and this is an investment that i'm making then i struggle to think what about the girls who are students what is the message that your brand is giving young girls what is the message that your brand is giving to girls who have just started cgm who live in pgs who are college students what is the message that your brand is giving these young girls and how are you helping them embrace their curly journey all right so we know that the brands are just about starting these brands are like nano brands really really small brands however one little thing that i would request the brands at least once a year once a year give us a half off sale that way your sales will also increase and you will also give these students these younger girls a chance to pick up your product you don't have to do like a one week sale you don't have to do like a one day sale maybe you could do like a 3 hour sale or a 5 hour sale where you offer everything at half off and you have like limited stock so the people who really want to get their hands on your products could have a chance and girls if that ever happens please stock up hold up if you have birthdays if you have diwali if you have any festivals request your family members and stuff to give you money keep it ready for that one day in the year or whatever and then on that day you can take advantage of the sale and get your hands on all of the products that you require all right so the next point that i want to stress is at any point if you feel like i've got my routine down everything is working out fine for me but then suddenly one wash day things went completely awry this is not how my hair looks what is going on i want you to stop and think is my hair completely filled with build up do i have a lot of build up on the lengths of my hair then instantly the very first thing that you'll do without even thinking is clarify that should be your go to okay whenever things are not going right and you feel like yeah my routine is not working for me suddenly another thing that you need to assess is do i have protein overload do i have moisture overload if that is the case then you'll notice that your hair looks different if you have moisture overload it's very it's like a very particular feeling that you'll get you'll feel like your hair is really mushy so let's say you've done your wash day and you've styled and you've dried and you wait and it's been 9 hours but your hair still feels mushy and soggy you know it doesn't feel completely dry i mean it is dry but it still feels mushy it's a very particular feeling that you will be able to identify i have been in moisture overload now three times and i can tell you that if you have moisture overload just remember mushy and the moment you feel like your hair is soggy and mushy that is your first way to understand that okay i'm in moisture overload if your hair looks stringy and dry and very weird to the touch you feel like okay my hair feels like crepe it feels like sandpaper it doesn't feel right then that is your indication to think am i in protein overload 
once you identify these two actually i'll tell you what you have to go through it to understand exactly what it is there's no point me explaining the first time you go through protein overload and moisture overload your hair is going to feel that characteristic way that the next time you have it you'll know for sure that okay yes this is the deal this is either protein overload or moisture overload if that is the case then the first thing that you do is you clarify it okay clarify wait for a few days don't do anything don't style your hair or anything then after you feel like okay a good amount of time has passed and my hair is definitely you know not holding on to any product my hair is completely stripped that is when you can style and sort of go back to normal however one thing that i want to say is don't rush when you're going through protein overload or moisture overload i know you feel this urgency that okay i have to rectify this problem i have to do this really really soon but don't do that give your hair some time sometimes the best thing to do very honestly is nothing okay clarify just wait just let it be your curls are not going anywhere you're not going to lose them so wait for a bit okay you've clarified let's see few days go see how your hair is feeling is it okay is it mushy is it dirty does it feel like there's a lot of build up on it still then if you feel like yeah all good it's okay i can proceed then you can wash and style as normal but if you feel like yeah that didn't do the trick then maybe chill it see how you feel the moment your hair is completely stripped clean and it's stripped of all of the product you will know exactly because your hair will feel different wait for your hair to feel a bit different and then try to rectify the problem don't like rush and jump and say okay protein overload or moisture overload i'm going to fix it tomorrow that's not how it works give it some time and just take it easy because trust me every curly girl will go through these things these are just learning experiences for you so take it easy and don't make it more than it should be you know what i'm trying to say is it's really nice to love your hair and love your curls but if you see that you're obsessing over it then take a step back and reassess the situation all right the next mistake i'm going to sound super sassy saying this but trust me this is coming from a very sisterly place it's not coming from a place of judgment at all so you've watched two and a half videos and you feel like you know everything and you know it all basically you don't need anything more you are ready and you are flying on your curly hair journey okay so this is not how it works the moment you have this mindset that i know everything and i have nothing else left to learn the battle is lost it doesn't matter how many years you've been doing cgm or how long you've been taking care of your curly hair it is so important to read to study to watch content surround yourself with people who are going through things similar to you have online friends who you can discuss your curly hair with and never for a minute never for a minute think that you know everything that there is to know hear me when i say that i learn something new about my hair every single day and if you watch my older content you will see that my knowledge base has grown so much i'm just somebody who loves my curly hair and i'm passionate about motivating you to stay on your curly hair journey and help you with whatever i know so i'm just sharing like whatever i've learned right i'm constantly learning and whatever i know today is much more than i knew last year and whatever i'll know next year so my knowledge base is going to grow so much more right that is because i'm never going to come to you from a place where i think i know it all and i would wholeheartedly encourage you to not stop learning as you progress on your journey always keep an open mind and realize that you can learn from the simplest of places It is not healthy for you to come from this mindset where you feel like you know it all and there's nothing more that you can learn because trust me textured hair is so beautiful it's like this wondrous magical subject and it will surprise you when you least expect it Okay so the last tip that I want to share and this is about styling this is something that I've started doing very very recently so let's say you apply your leave-in conditioner and then after that you want to go in with an oil and then you want to go in with a gel or even if you're doing like leave-in and gel right 
what I've started doing is I keep a little hand towel with me and the moment I finish applying my leave-in conditioner, I wipe my hands down and then I go in with the oil, apply using praying hands and then I wipe my hands down again and then after that I touch my gel, apply, wipe my hands down again. Is this super excessive? Yes it is. But trust me, when you're trying to use your spray bottle and you have like that khichri of product on your hand and your hands are slipping all over the place and product is like bunching up on your hand and filling and stuff and you want to scream into your towel, <laughs> this tip has helped me so much. It's something that I've just started doing. Keep a small towel handy so that in between your application steps, right, you're wiping your hands down. Now that you're hearing it, it might feel super excessive, but when you're styling, it does not even add like an extra two minutes to your routine. And I would wholeheartedly encourage you to try this out. You'll see that having your hands dry and product free in between your steps is really going to help you with that frustration when you style. All right, so that was it. These were my tips for today. If you haven't seen my previous videos on this topic, then I would wholeheartedly encourage you to check them out because I have so many tips and I keep adding to those playlists and I know that you're going to gain value. So definitely check them out. All right, guys. So that was it for this video. Hopefully you guys gained some value. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Michelle and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.